All right, welcome everyone. My name is Peter, and I'm joining you here today on uh, the brink of a very momentous occasion, the brink of what might be a revolution. Everything might change right now, and I'm here with you to find out. We're going to look at this. We're going to look more closely. There's something in here. Someone sent me a link on Instagram to a pen that might forever change the way we think about pens. Here it is. It's uh, heavily packaged. We opened one package. There's another package. Three packages down. Four packages down, and here we are at the pen itself. Now, this pen that may usher in a new dawn of, of penhood only cost me $13 on Amazon. And the first thing I notice right off the bat is that this, the tip of it unscrews from the rest of it. It seems to be made of a different material. The, the Amazon description was kind of in... Uh, Something that seemed like it was poorly translated from another another language, but basically it said that this is like anodized aluminum, uh, and it said that you never have to refill this pen, you never have to sharpen it, and it lasts forever because as you write with this across the tip of the paper, it leaves some molecules on the paper, and that's how it draws. But isn't that how every pen works? You push it across the paper, and it leaves some molecules. It's not very sharp, right? You can see that here. It doesn't draw much on this plastic table. So I have a sketchbook here, and we're going to try it in the sketchbook. Now, if this truly is a pen that you never have to refill, that never... Uh, that you never have to sharpen. Not that I've ever sharpened a pen. Um, I do like how it feels, all right? It's like solid metal, it feels like. If it lives up to the hype and, and it draws well, then we may have something on our hands. But I'm about to draw my first line on the paper with it here, and I feel like this will be the telling moment. It feels like a dull pencil. It doesn't feel like a pen at all. This should not be marketed as a pen. This actually feels, um, yeah, this feels like a very dull pencil. It feels really bad, actually. It, the feeling is inconsistent, and I'm already seeing how, it, it already seems like it's uh, getting more dull. Like, uh, I don't know if you can see how there's like sh shiny spots where I've written with it. The tip is becoming unscrewed here. Hello. It doesn't draw on skin. I mean, it's an interesting idea. I feel like someone had some of this uh, material, whatever this tip is made of, in their machine shop or something, and then they s s accidentally scraped it across a piece of paper, and they're like, whoa, you can make a, a pen out of this. I mean, what's going on right here? You see the inconsistency of the line? There must be something with the paper it's really bad, actually. I don't know if I can draw a picture with this. You have to keep turning it so you get a new sharper part of the uh, a new sharper part of the the tip. Because once you've drawn a few lines, it becomes really smooth. I feel like I'm doing a leaf rubbing or something with no leaf. I don't know how they could say you never have to sharpen this and it never runs out and it lasts forever when I can clearly already see that it's being worn away just by the paper. And I don't have anything under here. This just seems like nice, smooth, normal paper. But somehow the use of this pen is bringing out every minor, subtle inconsistency of the paper. Once you draw a few lines with the side of it like this, you can turn it on its very sharp tip and get some nice sharp lines though. So I mean, it's possible. This is like a very, 
I would I would re- relate this to a a pencil that has very hard lead. You can't draw very dark lines with this, I don't think. I'm trying to draw very dark lines with it and it's just starting to rip up the paper. I officially declare this not a pen revolution. You see how awful this is to write with? You can't even tell how it feels like, but you can see. All right, so I feel like this is going to be a short video. I don't know how I can dedicate more time to this. It's more like a, a PSA. Don't buy this piece of trash. It's a, a bad experience, and you'll regret spending $13 on it. It's maybe just good for like a stocking stuffer at Christmas time. Like, ooh, that's a cool thing. It's cool that you can write with a pen made entirely of metal without any ink or lead or anything. I feel like that's really its only point, right? Like this is a this is a nightmare. It's barely putting anything down right now. I'm sorry. I can't draw with this. I refuse. It's maybe the worst thing I ever tried to write with. Okay? I set up a lot of cameras for this video. I'll leave the cameras here for another video, for another pen. It will hopefully be better. Okay? See you next time. Sorry the video was short, but now you know not to buy this.